Hey, good morning, afternoon, or evening, whenever you happen to be watching this. Um, I'm Melanie from Volair Fitness, and I just wanted to jump on quickly. Um, last week was a big week for us. We had our open house, and Sunday was a very exciting day. Um, our theme that day was love, which is one of my favorite themes. And our theme for our devotion program, which is also still running, uh, or going into the last week, I suppose, was also love. And um, so one of the things that came up during our, um, our gathering, so in our devotion program, each week we have a theme. So like I said, this week was love, and we have a movement and gathering live session where we do some uh, movement to kind of explore the theme and then have a chance to sit and talk and have some reflection questions to, to do throughout the week to really integrate it into our lives. Um, and we have a chance to discuss um, some topics around um, around the theme in our group. And one of the questions that came up this week in our group, which I thought was um, really important and we got a really great discussion going on about it um, with you know input from different people in the group, um, the question was, I know I need to be more self-compassionate. Everybody tells me that, I know it. But what are the action steps? How do I actually do that? Like, how do I actually be compassionate to myself and it seems like such an easy answer like you just be more compassionate it's cool um, but there's a lot of things that kind of go into it and so as we were discussing um, you know one of the big things that I've had to work on with that is um, when we actually go through our day and we're controlled by a lot of our thoughts that come from our subconscious right and it's easy to think of that like if I were to pick up a cup of coffee and drink it, I'm not consciously thinking, hold the handle, squeeze your hand, pick it up. And same with a lot of the judgments that we have. A lot of the times when we see someone walk by and we have that automatic judgment, whether it's like, oh, that girl's pretty, that girl's successful, that whatever those automatic judgments that we come up with, they're usually driven by something in our subconscious. And so when we have those judgments about ourselves, like you should be more productive. Why didn't you work out today? Why didn't you do all these things? You're so stupid, blah, blah, blah. All of these things that reel on, those judgments to ourself also usually come from our self subconscious, sorry, our subconscious. Um, and so when we need to practice self-compassion, when we're first starting on it, what we actually need to do is when we hear ourselves making those judgments at ourselves, when we hear ourselves saying those things and, you know, just being not so compassionate with ourselves, those, uh, you're not, why didn't you do better? Why didn't you blah, 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 is to actually turn on our conscious brain and take a moment to actually stop ourselves. And instead of letting ourselves go on, or if we've already finished sort of going on with ourselves and we're coming back to thinking about it a bit later, but actually starting to change that conversation that goes on in our head. And our subconscious is made up right now of all of the judgments we've ever learned since we were a kid up until now, if we've never consciously stopped to change them, right? They'll, we can switch it as we go. And so when we want to practice self-compassion, we actually want to take that time to stop and tell ourselves a different story. So when we hear that judgment that's like, oh, you didn't get enough done today, why couldn't you be more productive? Then our consciousness needs to sort of step in and we need to take that step back and say, okay, so non-judgmentally, why didn't we do more? Did, do I need the rest? Why do I think that my worth should be reliant on me being productive? Do I really believe I need to be productive every minute of every day? Or is that something I've picked up from somewhere in my past? Is that just a subconscious judgment? And really taking those time or the time to, you know, break those down and start to write a new story for ourselves. So the eventually, and I mean, our subconscious, we've been building up these beliefs for a long time. It can take a long time to break them back down um, and sort of redefine them for ourselves. But eventually that'll become our subconscious thing where instead of going, oh my gosh, why didn't you get enough done? That self-compassion of like, wow, you needed a rest day today. Good for you for taking a rest day. We'll sort of be able to override that, but it does take time. The other thing that came up, which I is one of the things I love about uh, having our group discussions, um, was one of the other participants brought up that um, you know she had heard this um, 
uh, I can't remember where she heard it, sorry, but it was essentially someone saying that we need to remove the moral judgment that we put on different states of being, right? And in this case, the, the example that she had heard was that, you know, we have this idea that if your house isn't exactly neat and tidy, then you're somehow a bad person. The right way to live is neat and tidy, and the wrong way to live is to have some mess about. And I mean, that's really like a moral judgment that we've put on so many things. And it, it goes back to the productivity thing, right? Like good people are productive, bad people are lazy, good people are skinny, bad people are, you know, not skinny, good people work out, bad people are lazy and don't work out, right? Like, and there's this, this moral judgment that we've put on. And we re when we really sit down and think about it, like, where does that come from? Does that really feed from my personal values? Does that really feed from how I really want to see the world? Does this really, do these judgments really serve me in a way that will actually like make my life better? Um, and so again, it just comes down to when we actually want to decide to practice self-compassion, it is a choice. It's a really easy choice to just go, I'm going to practice it now. And then once we make the choice, we have to go through the hard work of actually oh, examining all of those tricky beliefs that we've built up over however many years old we are and really just breaking them down and deciding which ones are serving us, which ones we think are correct. I mean, is it really important to you to have a clean house? Yes or no? There's not a right or a wrong answer. It's just individual and it's going to you're going to be able to come up with your own authentic answer based on what you value, based on the space that you like to be in, based on the way that you like to be in the world. And again, it's not right or wrong. We just put these judgments on it because that's how we've grown up. That's how we've learned. And that's what our subconscious has held on to. And so uh, I won't go on too much longer. I'll just sort of leave it there for today. Um, but um, yeah, so just sort of summing it up. If we want to practice self-compassion, the first thing we need to do is step in consciously and consciously start changing our beliefs and uh our subconscious beliefs, not necessarily our superficial beliefs, but those subconscious beliefs um, that are telling us that we're unworthy, that we're uh, just not good enough, that we're not cutting it. We need to step in with our conscious mind and, and change the way that we think about those. So if you have any questions, any comments, anything you want to add to the discussion, feel free to pop it in the comments below. Um, we do have, if well, I guess the other thing is, is if this is the type of discussion that you kind of enjoy, this is the type of discussion that we have in our gatherings at the end of our uh, movement sessions in our devotion program. Um, and so we do have a new devotion program that is starting May 30th, Sunday, May 30th at 8 p.m. It's a six week program and uh, we have our six themes. So we'll be doing this type of discussion for the themes of open, present, uh, playfulness, courage, vulnerability, and love, um, and some movement, some discussion like this, and then some reflective integration practices so that, you know, we can actually take the time after we have this type of discussion, we can take the time during the week to actually be practicing breaking down our beliefs or building awareness um, of how we're living and deciding if we want to make changes. Um, my goal of the program is for people to be able to actually implement changes in their life and actually have uh, a meaningful difference in the way that they're living, uh, hopefully by the end of six weeks. And if not, that they keep carrying on those practices and see a meaningful difference uh, in the near future after that. So again, if you have any questions, any comments, feel free to either DM me if you'd rather do it privately or uh, pop them in the comments below. And I hope you have an amazing day and I'll talk to you later. Take care, friends.